Hi guys, Dave from DB Restorations here. How are you doing today? Uh, I got a couple questions that people have been asking and commenting on and so I wanted to answer them for you. Uh, one of them was, what kind of gloves do I wear? Uh, and I've tried a bunch of different gloves, but I'll tell you, these Ansel gloves here that I got on, that's from this company right here. It's called Ansel Microflex, and they also make an active armor and a high flex glove. Just a fantastic all-round glove here. I'll kind of show you some stuff in here in their catalog so then you can freeze frame the YouTube video if you want to get a little bit of information on their glove. Open it up one more time. There's just all kinds of products uh, for the industry in here. And then down here on the bottom is their contact information in case you guys want to do that. But uh, I like really tight gloves with a lot of dexterity. I know a lot of guys like the mechanics gloves. They got a lot of padding and stuff on them and to me they're just a little bit too bulky. And I really love these spandex back gloves with, uh, with the nitro on them. And this nitrile that they use in, on their glove is a chemical resistant nitrile. So if I get some lacquer thinner on it, brake cleaner or something like that, it doesn't eat away at the rubber. It stays intact. And it actually has a pretty built-in thumb and they always tend to rip in this area right here. So you can see I've been wearing these for quite a while and they're still in really good shape. A lot of times I'll snag the backs and they'll rip, but the palms and everything will stay in good condition. But these are just fantastic, you know. So I use these for a lot of my uh, assembly on the cars and a lot of fine-tuned work where I'm using screws and, and nuts and bolts and stuff like that. I also have this one here. This is made by them too. This is the, the active glove. And this one's got some more of your mechanics glove line. It has the padding in it and everything else. But then it also has that chemical resistant nitro on top of it as well. And then this has an actual Kevlar material on the back. So if you're running a grinder and stuff like that, the sparks and everything, uh, don't hurt your, your hands. So these are really cool too, and they uh, got a Velcro back on them and stuff like that, so they stay on really good. They even give you a really cool little area uh, to write your name on them, so if you have multiple people working in your shop, just they'll know who your gloves are. So and then also, one more I want to touch base on, this one right here is an active armor glove, and this one right here also has a Kevlar back to it. And this is a medium duty glove and then it has the same uh, nitro on the back but this is a higher chemical resistant glove so you can use this with solvents and everything else you know although with the spandex back like this if you dip your hand and get it completely in the solvent it's going to get on your hand because it's going to soak through here. So if you're doing that if you're in your solvent tank and everything else you want to get into these Microflex <laughs> chemical resistant gloves these are super cool because they're like a mechanic gloves, so you can put them on, still use screws, your screwdriver, nuts and bolts and everything, but you can see they're double lined, they're like blue on the inside. They're really heavy and really thick and super chemical resistant, so all your solvents and everything won't go through this, as well as paint products, your hardeners, your reducers and all that, so these are really good for painting as well. So these are the three items that I use quite a bit in the shop, but this here is probably my favorite by far, these active armors, because they got a lot of dexterity and a lot of movement in there. So if you guys want to know what I use, hand cell gloves. These are awesome. So get you some, try them out, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of them, okay? And I'll tell them guys. Another